You know what they say, cats have nine lives. Well, one local cat uh, used one of them miraculously to recover. Bart, you know this story. It was that crazy story. He was buried after his former owner thought that he had died. But Bart said, I'm not quite dead yet, and uh, <laughs> crawled his way out of the dirt, then taken the Humane Society of Tampa Bay, where they uh, took care of him and um, eventually got custody of Bart. Well, Bart now has a new home, and he joins us in the studio with his new owner, Valerie, and uh, Sherry Soap from the Humane Society. Thank you both for Good coming morning. in. Good to see you, and Bart's here as He's well. He's like so chill, isn't he? He's like, whatever. Bart, can we, Bart? He, all right, I'm not going to put Bart through too much. I mean, I just want to make, I want everybody to get a chance to see him. Well, I know this has been a long, drawn out deal. It's been but 20 months. 20 has months. it really been that 20 long? 20 months, yeah, a long time. Um, you, though, work at the Humane Society. I do. And you, you took a shine into this kitty? I did. He, um, I was kind of helping to care for him right after he was out of his hospitalization stage. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of fell in love with him. And then I'm sure he was fortunate. I was fortunate that Sherry gave me the opportunity to take him home and foster him. And so Kevin and I have had him at home for just over a year. It was yeah. a year in July that yes. we began fostering him. And so yesterday we finally got to make it official and he is now all ours and we couldn't be happier. He is the best. You know, because of the worldwide attention, we had offers from California, penthouses in Manhattan, people saying we'll pay all the bills for him, we'll fly him to New York. And and meanwhile, she's like, please don't send him away. I love him. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, she's perfect. She's per she's, she and Kevin are both a perfect home for this kitty. And this, I mean, I know this was one of those. This is the case that got him. You know, every now and then a really bad one comes along, yes. and, and yes. we hear about things. And, and then this dog, uh, this cat. Yes. Sorry, yeah. dog, okay. you know that yeah. cat. Bart crawled his way out of the grave yes. and, and yes. got to the Humane Society. But I mean, there are so many other stories that happen at your place every day that don't become big news right. stories. I mean, the, the, when something like this happens, though, it does draw attention. It right? does, and you know what I think it is that whole Walking Dead phenomenon. Because when he came in, it was so horrific. I mean, it was bad. Yeah, we saw the pictures. Yeah, it was absolutely he looks horrible. so good now. And, and okay. they started calling him Zombie Cap. And once that happened, I mean, we had we talked to reporters in Japan and Australia, all over the world. Just let's, we want to talk about the zombie cat. Is he going to make it? So somehow this cat just got earned a whole lot of attention. And he did lose know. an eye. He lost an eye. He lost an eye. See how his face is kind of smunched in a little bit because he had a his jaw was just smashed to smithereens, and we had to rebuild his jaw. I had a stomach tube for s uh, seven weeks because he couldn't eat. So yeah, he's he's looking pretty good though, yeah, right? Well, he looks, you consider he's it. A handsome fellow. <laughs> um, how much? How much? I mean, I don't know if you have a number. How much does that care for to bring something like that back? You got a ballpark? With a, about with everything, all the surgeries, all the emergency care, is it about ten thousand dollars? Are you kidding me? And I know people say, well, why did you spend so much money? Don't on this say cat? that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Okay. Anybody don't say he was, that. He was special, and he did not want to die, so we just we just, we just, just gave it our all, and he made it. And I'm so glad. I'm really, really happy. I love happy endings, and he couldn't be happier. Valerie's happy. I mean, it's just a great story. When we talk about this cat, zombie cat. Zombie cat. Everybody, cat. <laughs> some people get a little creeped out by the fact that maybe did die and mm -hmm. come back. You don't believe that. Absolutely not. No. no. And there's nothing creepy about it. No. He is such a special cat. <laughs> only is, you would ask this question. No, no, I, know I, can get, I you. know I can get away with this with you because I love you all so much and you would let me ask that question. But everything, everything's cool, right? Happy? Yeah, he's happy. He has a little brother and sister that he loves to play with. Kevin is crazy at playing with them. He makes them run up and down. When you say little brother and sister, you mean other cats? Other cats. So he mixes well with other cats? He mixes well with he other cats, it. he mixes well with dogs, he mixes well with people. At his little party yesterday, there had to be 30 people there. Nice. And he, was he knocked over a champagne glass, what can I say? No, you know, whatever. You know, get a little celebration. <laughs> <You're> celebratory. <laughs> we've, we've all right. done that along the way, right? Speaking yeah. of which, Tuxes and Tails is coming right. up. We're going to celebrate. Let's, let's plug it really fast. October 22nd. October 22nd. Convention Center. Convention and you're going to be there I'm, and, and Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia and I are going to be in seeing, as it. we have for the last 30, 40 years. I don't, is it that old? I don't know. But anyway, Something like that. You do a great job for I love you, my friend. Thank you for coming in. Good luck with everything. Bart, good luck, man. You got a lovely home. You're going to be happy kitty now. He sure right. is. Thank you. Uh,